As you have already seen the diagram where I have explained how the firewall will be configured. The firewall has multiple physical interfaces as we have already seen there could be multiple VLANs also. So if virtual RANs are there, of course, how the traffic will be passing from one VLAN to another VLAN and how the traffic will be passing from one private network to another private network, from the wireless LAN to the home lab and from the home lab to the other networks and how the traffic will be coming from the internet to our network and how it will be leaving our network and going to internet. Whether somebody will be able to access our network from external network or not, all of that can be configured using the firewall so we have to configure of course the firewall rules so i will be simply going here to firewall and in firewall you will see here rules so here you can see on left side these are multiple interfaces wireless lan van you can define on vmbr1 home lab and if vmbr0 was configured so that will come also here when you configure initially the van and lan in van and lan of course my lan is now changed to wireless lan so i named it wireless lan so that i can identify it because uh, one of the port you know, which is on my protectly is connected to the wi-fi access point that's why i have given it a, a name as wireless lan and then if i show you here this is the van interface you can see here no van rules are currently defined all incoming connections on this interface will be blocked by default there are these rules generated so these rules have been generated in a way that everything on from coming from this network is blocked by default so if you want to allow anything for example if you want to allow port 80 and 443 for web servers traffic or website traffic you can start creating those here we will see one by one first of all let us understand what is it all about you can see here uh, these are the icons for pass block reject and lock if the icons are great it means that these are not uh, active or these are disabled you can see here pass means the green uh, play button so here if it is great so it means that the rule is disabled similarly block is disabled or, or enabled so you will get to know from the icons here and reject is disabled or enabled you will get to know from here and log is disabled or enabled you will get to know from here in and out this is the direction so in will show you that the traffic is coming from any interface into the firewall and then out means it is going from the firewall to the other uh, network so coming from the from any network to the firewall is in and going out from the firewall is out so incoming means incoming to firewall outgoing means going out from the firewall and let me first of all go to the wireless lan because i am connected on wi-fi and on wi-fi uh, there are certain rules which are created so what are these default rules you can see here default allow LAN to any rule which means that from wireless LAN to any network the traffic is allowed uh, this is on the IPv4 version and IPv6 version it is also same you can see here this means that it is allowed if I click on this it will be disabled so which means that from IPv4 network I will not be able to access any network automatically created rules are hidden here so if you want to see it so you can just expand this and it will show you all the automatic created rules so we won't be going with that here you can see everything is allowed by default which means that all the devices on my network are able to access the internet suppose i want to block the traffic i want to block the internet access on specific uh, network or on specific ip address suppose if i see ping google.com i can of course uh, check the google.com if i ping the gateway address which is 192.168.100 dot one i'm able to access that let me continuously ping this and we will create a rule which will block the access from my laptop to the outside world so my laptop ip address is available here which is 172.16.1.12 so i want to block the access from this particular ip to uh, any network so what i'll do first of all we'll do any network and then we'll start blocking it to a specific address so we'll click here on add and now the rule which is created is created on interface wireless lan so you can see here i'm on wireless lan interface and this is wlan and direction is in in means that anything that is coming into the firewall from the wireless lan so this is fine here tcp ip version i will be using ipv4 here is the protocol you can choose tcp udp icmp or whatever you want but i want to of course block the ping also so i will choose icmp also so i will block everything source is not any if i do source any which means that anything will be included here but i will first of all go top again i missed something which is action is pass i don't want to pass i want to block here 
So now everything will be blocked in the wireless LAN interface coming into the firewall. But from where I will be choosing single host or network and that single host or network will be 172.16.1.12. And then you can see here source port range. It will be any port and destination is any. You can see here destination. I have chosen any category description. We will not use anything here and I will simply click on save. One thing that you have to see here that the rule is defined at the bottom of this. You can see here that here it is at the bottom, which means that this rule will be first applied and then it will look at this rule. So I need to bring this rule on top so that the first this rule will be applied and then the next rule will be applied. So I will simply select this rule and I will simply click here. It will be move the selected rule before this rule. So I want to move the selected rule before this rule. So you will see here that now the rule is applied on top. I will apply the changes now. Now you can see that this particular rule is now active. You can see here this rule is active. Now, if I try to open any website, suppose google.com, it won't work. If I open any website, youtube.com, syncbricks.com, nothing works. But this particular, uh, I'm able to still access the uh, OpenSense. Though it has blocked everything, but by default, there are the rules created, uh, which will not allow us to block the access to this particular. You can see here IPv6, IPv4, uh, port 80 and 443 these are anti lockout rules which are by default created that's why i am able to still access 172.16.1.1 so the reason is because of that rule but here now i am not able to access anything of course this was in the cache that's why youtube is it is showing here and if i try to uh, do the ns lookup also ns lookup google.com so you will see here it will not give any response because the access to the dns is also blocked and if i even ping 170.16.1.1 that is also blocked the reason is because we block the access to anything except port 80 and 443 and here right now whatever youtube you can see it is not connected of course everything is coming from cache and if i simply go back here and if i disable this rule which we created I click on disable and i will apply the changes now the moment i open the again it will definitely work and if i try ping again you can see here it is working fine ping google.com it is working fine ns lookup google.com it is working so this is how the rule is applied so first rule that we created we will be creating more rules here and we will be looking at how the rules are created for different aliases or schedule so let us continue to next video now